Let's get out of here. Joker for Leah do. Oh my goodness, this trailer literal goosebumps as soon as it ended. And while I was watching it, just couldn't think of anything, but I need this movie now. So Joaquin Phoenix and Todd Phillips returned for a sequel to The Joker, which was the movie they brought out in 2019, which went on to make a billion dollars on its way to become the highest rated R movie. Of course, without a doubt, a sequel was on the way. And now it's been five years since the release of Joker. And here we have our first official trailer for this movie, which has just added Gaga to the lineup as well. So before we get any further into the footage shown and what Todd Phillips had to say about everything, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're going to have theories and reactions all this week for CinemaCon, including some theories about what Joker two could possibly be about from the trailer but we're going to break down the trailer here and also we are about to hit 30k so less than 2,000 really would appreciate anybody subscribing and also check out our short four we're funding on seed and spark but let's get into the trailer right now so Joaquin came out and said that they were actually planning a sequel while they were filming the first Joker saying when we were making the first movie Joaquin and I always talked about making a sequel really because we were having a great time but we were never really serious then when Joker became a huge success we talked about it during the pandemic and the decided to do it and had a blast doing it. We cast Gaga because she was magic. I was a producer on A Star Is Born and that was where I was like, she has magic in her. I've never talked about it as a musical, but it's a movie where music is essential. The first way I described Arthur was a weird and aloof and distant, but he has music in him. He has grace to him. That informed him a lot in the first film. It didn't seem like that big of a step what we did here. So pretty much what we've seen here already from this trailer, let's just get started from the beginning, right? So went ahead, got all the pictures ready to talk about it. We don't know if we're going to use some video on this because Warner Brothers likes to be weird with videos. We might just have pictures on here, please, y'all. But we are excited. So pretty much what we see here as we start off is Arthur, what seems to be where we left him, which is Arkham Asylum. And he is being walked out of his cell here. And we notice that he catches the eye of somebody, which is Harley Quinzel here, played by Lady Gaga, who seems to be as well in the asylum with Arthur. Not entirely sure what the reason for their uh, whole thing being in here is but we get some pretty cool shots and some musical shots as you can see here where this might be a number of sorts we see harley as well on the steps that are now so infamous with the joker we see harley and the joker interacting a little bit more we see some of these also shots that i think are going to be more visions for them than anything i don't think these are set in reality i think this movie is going to blur reality and what's going on in their head a lot and i think that's going to set up this movie to be very excellent with these amazing pieces that we'll get in a bit and it looks like Arthur might just have some singing chops in them as well as you can see they're gonna plan this escape it looks like from Arkham Asylum and I was honestly surprised they're making the story a little bit different and surprised in a good way because I think that if they tried to go the doctor route of the original Harley and maybe it would have been a little bit too redundant so I like this whole aspect that maybe Harley is a patient themselves we see some amazing set pieces that gives us those musical vibes and you know these two photos this could actually be the reality right here and this one could be the fiction in their head that they're thinking as they're doing all of this and that gets me excited like i said this juxtaposition between what is real with this gritty real world they're in and this much more elegant and extravagant theatrical world in their head it could definitely add a lot of layers to this movie this is an interesting shot right here we've seen this already from behind the scenes that were shown a couple of months years ago where we see arthur being chased down by another character dressed up as Arthur and I think this is more of the rabid fan base that Arthur has built up from the first Joker film where we saw at the end that he was pretty much seen as this martyr and this hero to a lot of people. So at first when I heard about this shot I really thought it was something in Arthur's head. The more I look at this I don't think the ones that are chasing Arthur in his head I think these are real people that are obsessed with Arthur. I also like this television show of sorts that's here. Definitely not real in my opinion and I would definitely be surprised if there is an aspect where Joker and Harley are taken seriously by all these people. I think that this is a position where they may have sort of hijacked this club and are now performing at it. It doesn't maybe look this elegant but in their heads it does. So this is honestly where things start to uh, uh, get iffy for me of what exactly is going on because we see now that there are these people with these signs talking about freeing uh, Joker and other people talking about Arthur killed, others saying guilty as charged. So there's this whole like division on the Joker and how people feel about the Joker. But we see Harley that is free right now going up the steps. There seems to be some court proceedings happening here. And I'm curious to see how Harley was able to get free and then the Joker got back in 
because it looks like in this other clip that maybe this is when they catch the Joker again after Joker initially escaped. We see more shots of Harley and Joker together. Uh, we do see here, however, that Arthur is free at some point as well, as we see that newspaper right there that says free on all charges. So I'm very curious to see what exactly was the technicality that gets Arthur free from everything that just happened, considering the fact that Arthur did commit all those crimes and everybody saw it on TV. How exactly would they be free like this, right? So I thought that that was interesting right there as well to see and it looks like all of this is just going to cause some mayhem as we see Arthur there as well. Some more shots that I think are more in their head, the theatrical aspects of it. And I want to break all of these down as well because these are taken from a lot of inspiration and theater music and all of that. This is more in tune with what I think is actually going on in the club where they were before. I think this is Arthur's reality that is happening. And as I said, this right here is another thing in their head, not exactly what's reality as well. As we see, the world is a lot grittier, a lot darker and I'm curious to see also what is going on here with Arthur being interviewed and people not really vibing with it as well as I said I think the town is going to be divided and I'm curious to see how they represent that this is a shot call back to the first Joker when we see Arthur putting on the makeup and now we see Lady Gaga's character of Harley Quinn putting on the makeup this little teaser right here was just enough today to get me hyped as well seeing Arthur in the rain and just screaming the true club scene this is right here but it also looks like they're shooting something as well as you can see the camera right there so I don't know if this is the Harley Quinn and Joker show where they hijack some show at the club and that was what they were imagining but this is the reality of that but we do see that Joker pretty much gets beat right here we also see this shot right here where Harley seems to be the one with the upper hand as you can see she's holding the gun and there is somebody behind her that seems to have just gotten shot so things are gonna get pretty dark fast it seems as she is putting this blood on herself as well more of the Joker performing like I said we don't know what's reality what's real what's in their head this final shot right here where harley puts on the makeup on the uh glass and we see the joker put his like mouth right on it and just that joker smile right there insane trailer honestly and i'm excited for it like i said i really like this whole thing where they're blending reality and fiction they did it a little bit in the first joker with sazzy beats character who apparently is coming back as well so i'm very curious to see how that's going to be i really feel there's going to be some court proceeding that in this film because a lot of what we see in this trailer is a lot of those court scenes outside as well as with harley visiting the joker so that initial escape for harley as well is what kind of making me wonder how are they even free right are they even in there for the same things as the Joker or are they kind of like not as bad as the Joker? Maybe they're there just for minor things and that's how they're able to just get out. That could definitely be a possibility and maybe they're just doing the bidding of the Joker while he's in there and they have these moments when she visits him. I'm curious, like really. Let me know what you think about it. Like I said, Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix, I think have hit lightning once again as they did with the original Joker in 2019 and I'm just so ready to sit down and watch this one. So many callbacks to, to so many musicals and all of this in the trailer breaking it down and theories all of that will be tomorrow so stay tuned for that this was just my breakdown my thoughts on it we're going to talk more CinemaCon, more of the trailers that were shown and footage as well there was a ton of things mickey 17 and all of that so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to the channel we're on 30k run right now so less than 2k to get to that so super excited about that also we are funding our horror short film so go check it out in the seed and spark down below but as always that's going to do it for us i'll see all of you next time stay safe stay positive